My name is Mama Kofra Kaila. I'm from Nigeria, Abia States. I'm from Anhafia Local Government, Abia States. From a village called Okanako, Anhafia. I'm a freeborn of that place. I was born in Okan and married in Okan. Thank you. Like there is what we call in Okan, Echonta Otugaikenga, which means hunting. Because in Ahafia, everything we do there is age grade. Both the upbringing of the village is the age grade that does it. So this Ikenga, what I mean by Ikenga and Ibita, one part of the age grade will be even, which means Ikenga. The other part will be odd, which is Ibita. Then those age grade that fall in Ikenga, uh, they do that thing, that age that they go for hunting. There is a time created for that hunting. They do know the people who are, let's just take it like we're stronger and um, uh, and uh, the first people to bring a bush meat from the bush and come back home. I don't think they are still doing it now. And moreover, the re that one is for men. Then another thing is women. We do something like Ichuakbaka. This Ichuakbaka, the only people who go to it is the free born of those from that village. How come? Even in another part of Ahafia. The free born. What I mean by free born, everybody is free born. What I mean by free born is the people who are known like the from the heritage that are the founder of that village that's the people that goes to it like if i were i was not a christian a, born from a christian family i would have been a part of the people who goes it but i didn't go it because my dad and was enlightened so early that he's a Christian, so he didn't want his children to partake in those things, so we didn't partake in it. But I witnessed it when they are going very early, the women will go down. There's some song they sing and go, not every lady will go eat, as I have said. When they go, as my senior sister told me, uh, uh, my elder sister, he said, I asked her, what do you go there to do? They said they will go to that uh, stream. That stream, they will go there. I don't think, they don't know what they say they do there. Then they will come back and they will wash, take bath there and come back. Not really taking bath, they just dip themselves in that water and come back. But now, nobody does that again in our village. I'm sure of that. Nobody does that again. Like in the olden days too, we have something that we do like Iguale. Um, Iguale is after the yam, we are planting it, planting yam. Coco yam, everything. Then there is no more old yam. We are waiting for new yam. Those people that are rich in planting of yam, they will bring, they will have old yam in the house. So the day we will do that one, that one I did it. The day we will do that one, families by family will go to their family, the elderly person, and take firewood and give them, as I am now. If it's something they are still doing, like my grandchildren will bring firewood, each of them. When they come, I will cut a yam and give them that old yam. 
and because I give them young, everybody that did it. And that time, that day, the type of soup we used to do it is what we call ofogere gere, that is melon ball. They will make melon ball and do the soup. Very, very sweet. Everything will be added in it. The significance of that is all the yam has gone. After doing that thing, we are waiting for to harvest a new yam. Mm -hmm. Then when they knew that one, nobody does it again. The way they do it is that time you buy something and give to the elderly people for them to celebrate the old past year. It's no it's not a um, narcotic or anything. It's just showing that new yam, old yam has gone. All yeah. of them are in there. Yeah. Has been put in ground. Then when it is time for new yam, the day the new yam is done, uh, being harvested, there is another ceremony that will be done. That one, the men goes to the, they have a hall. Every compound has a hall in front of their compound. The men, elderly men, will go there and they bring yam. When they bring that yam, they will give it to a man that is, is pleasing to God. A man that not, does not go to chase other women. A man that they know is holy, is truthful. That the person they will give those yams they gathered. The men in the company will gather new yam. That's the type of man they will give that yam. A family that they know that is holy unto God. That's doing the right thing. That is not somebody, somebody that does not please God. That's the person they will give that yam to cook for them. They don't just give it to anybody. They don't just say you have money, so you will cook it well. Mm -mm. They look into and know the holy of the holies. Let me put it like that in the compound. That the people they give it. So that one, they are still doing it till today. They will eat the yam. Then the women from maternal side. This one I said the men is from paternal side. Then the women from maternal side. Will the men will give them yam too? Then they will go to the eldest person in the maternal side. That's the place they will cook the yam. When they cook that yam, they will palm it, palm the yam, make it fufu. Then they will cook that soup, our traditional soup, melbourne soup. I used to cook it to the children that time. <laughs> Then they will cook it. There is another thing they do, which made people that are Christian don't join them again. But it's not that it's bad. It looks somehow. Then when they cook that thing, they will make sure that the little ones that are coming up, like I, I went, I, I visit, I did that thing. I went to where they are doing that thing, my maternal home. I think two times when I was small because we didn't normally live in our village. So, they will tell you this one, there is something they mark. This one is our great, great, great grandmother. This is her name. They will take that uh, thing, that uh, fufu de pan, and take, they say, grandmama, eat. Then they will call another name and say, this one, this is her name. They will take the soup and say eat. That's how they do to what they are doing it is not that they are doing the their thing. But what they are doing is to show the little ones the name of their grand great grandmother. As I am, I know all of them, which I want to teach these children to know them. So they know it. Even my daughter self. You may not know my great 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 grandmother. No. Okay, that's one. Why people are not doing it like in my own maternal family? I don't know where that thing is now. Because of Christianity. Christians feel that 
that thing they put is just a pot but that part they will put it in the eldest women they will put it in her kitchen the day they will do it oh it's very very enjoyable they will cook that food they will come and eat they will show you you they say all of you come Nege, mother, mother, this, 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 eat, your children has come. As you are dead, our Heavenly Father will help you to be blessing us in the, uh, uh, in the name of Jesus. They give them food. Another one will bring, but now, many maternal family don't have that thing again. Some are still being, like my maternal family, if you ask me where our own is, I don't know. I don't know. Uh -huh. That is that. The men also do it in paternal family. And they name their great grand grands uh, father. Yeah. Another one. Another one. one. Anyway, that this one I'm coming to talk. Is very important to bet. It's still going on now. That one is what we call Iwe. That's what our village call it. Or some villages in Africa call it Ibo Atamo. That one is, as I said, we go do everything in our place in age grades. So age grade will start from when they are like 25 years, 30 years, they know themselves. They can start a meeting. They can, because they are still in school now, but in, in those days, they will start putting one one naira, two two naira. But as of now, people are doing it if I see, uh, if you see your friend, your friend, it doesn't matter whether I'm older than you by five years or uh, you are older than him. You like the way the person behaves, so you will like to join that picture. This one I'm talking now. Even if we are a stranger that came to live in our village, people will be dragging you. You will be our age Even some of my in-laws that married my children, Married my uh, child from Ngwa land. When he come, they have dragged him to one age grade in our place. So it's just the way to raise money to build up our community, our village. That one, we will be doing it when it's like three years, or five or six years to do it. They will show you people what you will do. We call it Ezarafa, so that they will give you people name. Because you are still young, you don't have name. They will give you name. Then, when it is time for you to come out, that thing they give you will be a small project. You can do it. It can be in a market. They tell you to build a market, uh, something like a hall for market. As then you build it or anything, or a hole for them, or put water, make a borehole water for them. Then they will do it. Then the year they will come out to do the main project. They will give them big projects. For like our age grade, we build a school. We build a school for our village. That one, like as I'm saying, People use Christianity to destroy something which is good. Like the Jehovah's Witness, they don't want to join. They say it's worldly thing. How is it worldly thing? When your children are going to school in that place, when your children are going to that clinic, some, uh, our, the one they gave you to get them was a clinic. We make a little clinic for them. Uh, mm -mm, the house was there. But what we did, we buy equipment, bed, everything that will be used in that place. That's one. We are still doing. We are still doing it in our half. Throughout our half, all our half does it.